everybody. It's time for another good word from God's word. It was busy this morning as Church of Hope. Uh, we tried to get about 1,344 boxes of food and we actually gave away 15,000 pounds of food today. We got a lot more. We're actually going to be giving it out tomorrow uh, during service at 9 and 11. So if you need a box of food, if you know somebody has a box of food, you can pick that up. So Today's good word from God's word comes from Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through 38. And this is actually part of the reading plan that we've been doing with the Reset series, uh, where we're challenging everyone to read through the Gospels in 30 days. Uh, what's funny about this this particular Mark 6 through 8 is that it's actually almost the exact same stories with a little bit different detail that I did last week in Matthew chapter 7. So uh, I went through and uh, Mark is a great gospel because Mark is like the, hey, let's just let's just get it done. And a lot of times this story, Mark is believed, even though it was written by John Mark, it's, it's believed this is Peter actually telling the story that his reactions and, and his, his interpretation of events uh, as he uh, hung out with Jesus. So Mark chapter 8 verse 34 says, then he called, this is Jesus, it called the crowd to him along with the disciples and said, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me and for the gospel will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? So what this is a this is a, a popular verse. It says you take up your cross and follow me. Uh, I used to have a a joke of um, uh, I would make a Christian T-shirt. Remember back in the '90s, you had all those Christian T-shirts that was like a playoff of uh, of name brands. Uh, and so the, I used to say that I'd wear a T-shirt that says "Runs with Splinters," and then on the back said. Take up your cross and follow me. Yeah. So what Jesus is saying there is like, that's a very vivid picture for those people because they all see people getting crucified, how they have to carry their cross. And so that's a very painful, very uh, excruciating event. But it's something that uh, that person has to do because obviously they're getting crucified. And what Jesus is saying to them is that, look, you can't look out for yourself. If you're going to serve God, you can't look out for yourself. You have to look out for what God's interest and what his kingdom is about. And if you've ever watched The Chosen, which is a great series, I've watched it on YouTube. They just got season two renewed. If you haven't checked it out, I really encourage you to. Uh, and one of the great things that they pointed out in that, as they tell the biblical story, is that Jesus was not about the law. He was not about solving the world's problems. What he really cared about was people's character. He cared about how they looked at the, how they looked at the world and how they cared for other people. And if we are going to care for other people, we have to deny ourselves. We have to say, no, I'm not going to do what I want, but I'm going to do what take what it takes to care for other people. Like today, when we were giving out those, all those boxes of food, I mean, we had so many volunteers come out there, which was awesome. And they started super early in the morning. Now it's Saturday morning. It, I had to get there at 6.30. A lot of volunteers had to get there at seven. They started their day super early. And what the, it wasn't for them, it was to serve others. They had, deny, they had to deny themselves of just staying in bed and sleeping and go and serve. And a lot of them stayed up until almost noon, which is awesome. But, you know, serving God is more than just giving out food. It's about denying yourself. It's about saying, God, whatever you want, whatever you want for me, whatever you want. It's, and when he says, um, what good is it in verse 36, what good is it for someone to gain the whole world yet forfeit their soul? How many times have we seen movies or heard stories about people who sought after the things that the world can give them. They sought after money. They sought after things, materialism. They thought about, they sought after uh, relationships. And it wasn't, they, they were doing everything they could to make themselves happy. But then they lost their soul. They lost who they were. There's a, it's a major struggle that all of us have, that most of us have to deal with. And so what we need to do is we have to say, you know, I I know that I could go do this. I know I could go do this and I can make a ton of money or I could totally not have to worry about uh, finances or I could have this and I would finally be happy. But like, is that what God wants you to do? Is is that, 
Is that what serving the Lord is? Is that denying yourself? Is that picking up your cross and carrying it? And it's not even like, hey, let me put on my cross and let me, let's everybody look at how awesome I am because I'm carrying my cross and I'm suffering for the Lord and I'm just doing all these great things. Don't you want to look at me? That's still drawing attention to yourself. You have to deny yourself and follow Christ. Deny yourself and follow him. Verse 37 says, or if, what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? If any, the verse 38 continues, if anyone is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, the son of man will be ashamed of them when he comes in his father glory with his holy angels. We have to deny ourselves. We have to deny the way we feel. We have to deny the, the, the how our lives are and say, God, whatever you want me to do, I'm going to go and tell everyone the good news. I'm going to tell everyone about Jesus, no matter what it takes and no matter how it makes me feel. And I'm going to tell you, for me, it's super scary, but you can't live that way. You have to step out in faith and trust that this is what the Lord has, trust the Lord, because he even says in Acts 1.8, it says, you will receive power to be my witnesses in all of Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. You have the power to go out and tell people of the good news of Jesus Christ. So deny yourself, pick up your cross, and go tell people. So that's our good word for God, uh, good word from God's word. We'll see you next week for another one. It's going to be good. See you.